Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to share a little utility with you that might be able to help you uh, at work or in life. It's called Virtual Router Plus and that's this little guy here. So we're going to just move him off to the side here and look at the website for a second. This is one of those websites where unfortunately you have to read very carefully. You've got a download link here. That's not the download. That's for this JZip thing. And right underneath it there's another download. That's for a codec. So. It's kind of annoying when it looks like it's actually in a legitimate download for that site. This is your zip RAR opener. That's not it. This is it. Download latest release. So unfortunately, that's where you get it. You can always just Google download virtual router plus if you'd like, and it'll probably take you right to the download page. So once you get it, it's real simple. Just unzip it or unpack it or however you want to call that. You end up with all your files in a folder. You just double click that executable, this guy pops up. So now that you've got this guy up on the screen, you create an SSID, I called it Alienware because that's the computer it's on, and a password. And because it's 24 gigahertz and I'm using WPA2, that's my password. This is the important part, is what network connection on your PC do you want to share? So this could be a 3G card, it could be your LAN card, it could be anything, it doesn't matter. In my case, it's simply going to be my LAN connection. If you look at the pull down menu, it'll scan your system and find all your adapters for you. You click Start Virtual Plus, it says Working, and in the bottom here it said Success, and now I know it's running. That's it. So now you can get your smartphone and connect to the internet through your PC. So this is good for those places where you only have a wired connection. It's also good for lab work if you need a couple of access points. Uh, and you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of access points. It's also good if you want to uh, synchronize your phone or copy data from your phone to your computer and you're able to do that via Wi-Fi but there's no Wi-Fi network around or the Wi-Fi network is not allowing you to talk between devices then this is a pretty good utility too. So it's sweet, simple and it uses your antenna and your radio obviously on the laptop so your distance will vary depending on a whole bunch of stuff. I was able to get at least 25-30 feet range from my Alienware as well. So there you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.